Hey, welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. And welcome to my initial review on this little, the little Casio Data Bank Calculator watch. Now, this watch for me, it, it's got some really useful functions, uh, but it's more about the style and the look of it. To be honest, if, if none of this, uh, none of this worked, I'd still have it because it's just it's got the look about it. It's um, got that retro look, but it's the data bank. It's the more modern version of, you know, the Casio calculator watch. I'm uh, just going to run through the uh, the systems. You've got the data bank there, and I've just written in there. You can see scrolling across knob, uh, and I've got to say a few other things in there. There's plenty of room for for num phone numbers or pin numbers or security numbers or you know different stuff in there then you've got your calculator uh, and it you know the, the keys are tiny but you kind of get used to how to to work the keys uh, it's fine you've also got a um, when you're in the calculator function if you press this little button here you've got a currency exchange converter which you can set up um, so obviously if you're going abroad you can you know, this has got dual, dual time and a currency converter. So this would be a great watch to um, take away with you. Then we've got alarms. So you've got your usual five alarms, signal, snooze, all that kind of jazz. Then you've got your stopwatch. No countdown timer on this one, but we've got dual, which is a shame. I would have liked that. Um, but we do have a dual time. And then back to the main screen. You've got uh, auto light function on this one, and uh, that is toggled on and off. I'm just going to try and get in as close as I can. And as you can see, the auto light is now on, and then you press and hold that, it'll go off. You've also got the option to have the light come on for uh, one and a half seconds or three seconds, and then you've got the mute uh, there as well to turn the bleep off. Down here we've got the signal indicator and then we've got the alarm one is set as well. So all in all, a great little watch. The light is really good, just one LED down in the bottom corner, but it does light up the, the whole display. We are talking, you know, Casio sort of um, yellow LED light. You can just see in the corner there. But at night that does actually, you see it stays on for about three seconds. Um, but at night, that does actually illuminate the display absolutely fine. It doesn't need any more. Um, it, it lights up the whole display, no problems whatsoever. And because of the auto illuminator, as you tilt the watch up, the light comes on and uh, actually works really well. It's great. Um, it does make me laugh when people say, oh, you know, I don't have the light on for three seconds or don't have the auto light on because... It, um, it can run the battery flat and all that. Well, for a start, this is a 10 year battery. So if it only lasts for two years, it's not the end of the world. And this one particularly is dead simple, four screws, pop them off, pop a new battery in, cost you about a quid um, and away you go again. So really no big deal. All in all, uh, a great little watch, you know, a, a really useful watch. What I like about this is the fact that it's got the day. So you've got Saturday on the main screen, you've got the time, you've got the seconds run in, you've got the year, the month and the day. So you've got all the information you need there on the, on the main screen. Obviously with the dual time function and the currency exchange, I think they're just bonuses really. So my only real gripe about this watch is the fact that it doesn't have a countdown timer and if you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, I do love a countdown timer because I use it more. I very rarely use a stopwatch, but I, I often use a countdown timer. So I'd always have a countdown timer over a stopwatch any day. So there it is on my wrist. Um, now, because this has got this shape to it, it actually wears really nicely. Um, and it sits on the wrist, it's super comfortable. It weighs nothing. There's not even any point putting it on a, you know, scales. I think it weighs something like 20 or 30 grams or something. You know, the majority of the weight is probably the battery, to be fair. Um, the strap's nice, nothing to write home about. Typical Casio fare, nice rubber, but it nice and easy to get a good fit on your wrist, nice and comfortable. And for a fairly big watch, um, it wears absolutely beautifully. Um, one of those you put on and you don't know you're wearing it kind of watch. Um, so I really, really like this one. Um, definitely a keeper um, in the collection. 25 quid, 
I'll put a link to uh, Amazon in the description. You can get these from all different places, but brand new in the box with the instruction manuals and a display sort of holder thing, um, 25 quid. I mean, you can't go wrong for that. Um, I mean, why, you know, if you've got a watch collection, especially if you've got like me, lots of Casios, I don't know why you wouldn't have one in the collection. And um, it, as a gift for someone who's into watches, I think it's great. It's got retro cool about it. Um, it's a useful tool as well. Uh, yeah, I just, I absolutely love this watch. Um, they do it in, I think they do a, a silver one, but with that you get the, the, the hair pulling bracelet of doom. Uh, and I just think it looks better and I think it looks more retro in the, in, in the all black um, version. I say the little keys are a bit of an art form, but once you get used to using those little keys, you can do um, basic functions. And I say the data bank facility on it is uh, actually quite a useful thing. Got the illuminator and all the writing all over it typical casio isn't it it's just uh, i just love it great i mean if you're talking fun per pound or dollar i don't think it gets much better than that so there you go this is uh grvo tv g's reviews views and opinions with my casio databank calculator watch i'll see you soon bye